a very good evening Dutch bike blogger thank you for riding with me still Saturday February 20, 2021 10 minutes before 8 o'clock in the evening and I had a very good time visiting my old colleague a former colleague I can end the other video before this one see link in the description box in the top right corner of the cart right about now he invited me for a cup of coffee well we have a lot to talk about we not talked with to each other with well, since last summer so it was a lot to talk and it was very very nice I enjoyed the visit and so did he and now it's of course already dark so that's why you were probably not seen very much and only hear me talk my camera is not suited for dark darkness low light made the best of it changed some settings hopefully that does make the video a little bit nicer but I doubt it Well, this traffic light I had to wait for. The Domino's pizza bike delivery woman guy. Electrical bicycle way faster than I will ever be on this bike. By the way, no fancy fancy lights on the bike, just a non-rechargeable bike lights easy to clip on could have gone for the better option the rechargeable floodlight but that's a hassle to put on the bike and the short distance to home and I'm visible so that's the good uh, part I am wearing a jacket now and this afternoon when I was in the polo shirt I brought a jacket with me but a little bit colder than this afternoon so let's wear the jacket it's not that cold it's still probably well around 10 degrees I think but of course a little bit too cold to only wear a polo shirt and I had the thing with me so Though it's a short trip home. No, Domino Pizza guy is not familiar with the route. He has right of way, he came from the right. For me, from the right, but always show for cars. So he has right of way both on the bike and the car. But he hesitated. It uh, used to be that motorized traffic had right of way of non-motorized traffic so when you come from the right with your bike and there was a car you had to stop for it and now all traffic from the right has right of way actually simplified the rules a bit to some extent of course let's go this way thinking to myself it's been a while since I had a bike ride in darkness I think that last time I had one was when I brought a visit to my brother's home 
and had to go to home. But no, last time I went there I drove back into the city center without a camera. Well, the time before that one, which is even longer ago. Well, it's dark, it's still before curfew time, evening, uh, avond clock time. There's some kind of clock, at 9 o'clock you're supposed to be inside. Except for dog owners who can walk their dog and people have to do jobs after 9, so traveling from and to work and so on. Food delivery people. They had to have a written paper by the boss that they are working. They have to fill out a form themselves. And the clock ends at 4.30 in the early morning. Well, I don't have anything to do out outside of the city, out outside of after 9. There's nothing that you can go to except if there's people, but restaurants and bars are not open, so no use of getting out in the evening. Theater, movie, theaters, nothing. It's all closed. Well, again, a traffic light, and right in front of me, a food delivery person. Actually skipping the red light it looks like but it didn't. He she her woman why man guy it was switched to green so no problem at all. A little better anticipated on the on the red light turning green than I did. Car driver behind me having slipped Slipping their tires or smoking tires. I heard them make sound and noise. Couldn't have been that car. Looks not a very sporty car to me. Tower for eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I think it's called the Finkenstraat. Huh. Thought it wasn't. Thought of speed hump, but it was actually a color discoloration in the tarmac. This is a speed hump where the spike in front of me just jumped over. You cannot see it, but there's the bike with a. Not a bike rack on the back, but on the front, with a quite a big box on there. And it makes a lot of noise. It's, I don't think it's a food delivery person, but somebody just has a bike with fish and a crate on there. I actually don't like a crate on my handlebars. They're very wide, which makes parking your bike next to another one in a bike rack very hard. And also when you put stuff in there, you're Steering wheel get very heavy. I'd ra rather put something in the back, bike bag, or in the backpack. 
back wrap not so much because it's very warm on the back but well and grocery shopping well I tend to get a bag and carry it on the back of the bike Ooh. somewhat came to an early standstill almost slipped I had to stop and put my foot on the ground did not have to do it but a little uncomfortable actually take a wide turn and then go over the bridge after the car has gone over it because no use going over bridges is way too small to have a car from one side and a bike like I am or I'm driving riding from the other side way not to way not not a way to go <laughs> funny I'm already getting warm in my jacket again really odd Just indicates for the car behind me that I'm going on a bike lane. It's a bit odd because first of all I had to take a short right and then a left and then actually go to the left of the bike lane or the right of the bike lane. It's just still a dual bike lane. It's very dark actually. There is light in front of me but not at the point where I'm driving or riding. I have to see. I have to see. I have to see. Now, not the best bike lights, but it's, I think, okay. It should be visible to traffic. And that's the main reason, being visible. Continue straight. There was a big bus and a small white van. I don't know if you could see it. it. Was a public transport van. Somebody without lights. Always amazes me that people on the bike on nice festivity lights, still hanging there from Christmas probably. Always amazes me the people with a bike. In darkness without lights you probably will think well they're lampposts so they see me and the chance that I will get caught by police and get a fine also very small but that's not your biggest problem the problem is that the traffic is not going to see you and being run over by other traffic like a car a moped bus truck or even on the bicycle is not very funny it hurts gets you injured and if you are very unlucky it gets you killed this is most certainly not something you should be opting for very start very bad start of your day other hand when you die you probably see your last light when you go you're very unlucky probably hellfire and you make it to heaven well good luck with that but it's better to watch out and electrical scooter riding guy 
braking way too hard. I hear the tire squeal. Well, made a little bit longer bike ride than actually necessary, but well. Nice to have a relaxing bike ride and be in darkness. Visibility not that good, but it's more quiet on the roads. Less people, less traffic, and so on. By the way, I'm riding on the Molukkenstraat, next to me the Molukken Plantsoen. Now entering the Seleberstraat, which is very close to home, so I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you for riding with me in the darkness. Oh, there's a cat crossing the road, you cannot see it, but it's there. Well, thanks for riding with me. Hope you liked the video. Like, give a like, a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would like to invite you to subscribe. Of course, I will see you next time. Have a great day. And like always, be safe out there.